Shit. Yeah. Hey, aren't you that guy that used to make like really consistent YouTube videos? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was me. And, and, and then the, the baby came. Anyway, welcome back to another video. The whole Super Say Me 40 Fit Super Dad in the building is still happening. Hey. But I wanted to inform hey. you on some of the changes hey, that. Hey. What? <sighs> One sec. But you know what to do. Smash the ting, yeah? What? About time you, you tell him. You, you tell him the thing. The what? Come on, you know, the, the, the thing. The... Anyway. No, 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 mate. Mum, no, no. He was thinking this earlier. It's going to be, he wants to talk about the, the own workouts. You know, the own workouts are building muscle. <laughs> yeah, you kind know? of, but not really. Kind of like. Was well, it like those, those stupid videos where they're like holding like one one litre bottles of water doing like really, really slow squats? <laughs> yeah, like super <laughs> slow. Like. One. <laughs> it must be, it must be dead, man. <laughs> okay, enough. Can everyone just shut up? <sighs> so anyway, as I was trying to say, firstly, I want to try and bridge the gap between sit down informative video and then entertaining vlog video to bring you some infotainment. I set myself a little challenge. I want to see if over the next 12 weeks, build some muscle, lose a little bit of body fat, just kind of recomp in general, increase my flexibility, mobility, and like body weight mastery. So like press ups, handstands, all, all that, pistol squats, all that kind of stuff. Can I actually do that with just home workout? Seeing as we're all in quarantine and we're based on very limited equipment. Science says it's possible. So let's see if we can create some practical evidence in these videos. So what I wanted to show you today was one of the workouts which I came up with which is like stupidly intense and over the 12 weeks there's a few principles that I want to make sure I adhere to. Number one is keeping progressive overload. Finding a system to be able to track and measure your progress in that respect. Number two, there's something very specific based off of studies that if you're doing an exercise, so say I do like 40 press ups, that's not gonna be conducive for actually building muscle from home workouts. Trying to make the exercise harder to the point that you can only get like eight to 15 reps tops before you're like properly flagging. Get what I mean? And number three, having good nutrition. Did a food shop yesterday. Sleep, recovery, hydration, all those little factors. And I say sleep and recovery because sleep is getting a good night's sleep. Recovery is not training all the flipping time. You need to repair. Anyway, let me show you the workout. I know, but first, you need to weigh in, then do a little physique check, and then do like a mobility check just to see what the starting point is. Feel me? 21.6. So, uh, I'd like to just critique myself a little bit here. I am probably sitting at about 14% body fat and there are a few imbalances that I need to correct, but all seems good in the hood. As for flexibility, my hips are very bad, my glutes are very tight, and it's okay, but it's not great. That one's worse. So this shoulder's tighter, overhead squats, my arms being forward. Yeah, there's a few bits that need to be soldered out. Are you fighting? Yeah! You figure that out. Last number one. Number one, do exercise. <laughs> Get out of here. Rascal number two. Today is an intense workout, so I am going to have some pre-workout. So this pre-workout is the pre-workout plus from my protein. As always, links in the description if you want 35% off. I actually think it's 37% off at the moment, I think. 
So we are start with the warm up. So the warm up that I like to do, as you can see, is mobility stuff. I like to do a lot of mobility now, uh, just to get everything moving. And this mobility routine, I've actually put on my Instagram, gets the hips open, gets the shoulders moving, gets the knees all nice and warmed up. Before starting with this ridiculous thing I came up with of doing 100 body weight squats, but with some type of band involved at some point. Quick note, when you're doing these, make sure the band splits in the middle of your foot. So you want it like that, yeah? Not here, not there, right here, yeah? So I'd like to elaborate. So the first one was with just the, the booty band uh, around the knees for 20 reps, then one band for 20 reps, two bands for 20 reps, then go up a band size for 20 reps, then two of those bands for another 20 reps. That was, it was literally horrible. Hell on earth. Well, that's the warm up done. One thing I will say though, is be creative with it. One of the exercise variations that I've got is standing on the two chairs and strapping the kettlebells to um, a dip belt. But if you don't have kettlebells, you can sure as hell get these. And that's five liters in each, so that's gonna be five kilos. Or you could fill up half, and then you can add weight as and when, depending on your, on your strength levels. As you guys know, I flipping love deadlifts. So I had to figure out a way to get that kind of feeling and using these tough as hell bands, doing the deadlifts with this pole, or is actually like, like my hamstrings are still feeling it now and it's like two days later. So if you have strong bands like this, I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend trying it. And these ones, we will call the Higo Check Lunges. Put a cloth or something under your back foot, it could be tissue, so your foot has to slide so it puts all of the emphasis on actually doing the lunge properly rather than using your back foot to support the front foot. Home train. And then for this one, it's just really good for opening up the hips. I've got very tight hips and I'm really trying to work on that mobility. So just try these, I'm gonna call them froggies. Yeah, let's call them froggies. Pro tip! If them have muscle him balance, you always have to work with the weaker side first. You see? Time for the rows. And you know what they say about rows? <laughs> yeah, they, they grow your back. Um, so yeah, we're doing... <laughs> Bent over row, same kind of like um, set up as the deadlifts, but there's also these two variations if you want to go single-handed or if you want to go uh, for a closer grip. All three are flipping amazing. I'd just use them on different days. You were right there, mate. You, you're tired. Tired, yeah? So most of the time, the resistance bands are going to be quite long, and I found it quite hard to do um, the reverse fly without doing this kind of like hook around system around my feet, which gave just enough tension, but not too much tension and not too little tension. It was just right. On to the next one. I love this one. This one, this one felt really good. It was all like shaky and stuff. So you look at my arms wobble, wobble, wobble. But yeah, floor press, using the bands. And I just found it easier using the pole rather than um, using my hands because it, I don't know, it just, it felt, it felt better. And it felt like I could put the heavier band on to load it more. And my chest was screwed the next day. Now this one is a great blood filler finisher like you would with the cables but even more so you can't get away with it like you would on the cables you have to focus everything on to actually squeeze in the chest otherwise I didn't feel it if I wasn't focusing I didn't feel it so the last couple of exercises is just going to be um, a couple of sets on biceps and triceps and that's it for this workout with the Biceps, the setup for this is exactly the same as the reverse fly. So hook it under over one foot, under the other. Inside, 
What can I say about bicep curls? What do you know about this? I can't tell you much more. All I see is squeeze the biceps, squeeze the biceps, enter, inside. DJ Mac, Mac 10, rolling through. I'm out. Bro, I told you to stop messing with the mic. Anyway, finish with these awesome beauties. Skull Crushers with the bands, with the bar also makes it, yeah, very techy, but it's a great one. But this lockdown has actually got me training in ways that I haven't trained before and stuff that I wish I'd been doing before. I think this might actually born a full-fledged superhero. Trust me, daddy, I'm out. So ladies, make sure that you've got your booty band on deck. You can get these from my website, buildedbootieswithsasha.com and uh, let's get to it. You wanna buy it yet? These two are making flapjacks. Are the chocolate ones? Chocolate ones? Yeah, chocolate. Wanna buy it? FYI, this whole outfit is from the My Protein website. <laughs>